We're here today in Primrose Hill for the second annual Street Workout London. It's a freestyle calisthenics competition, so it's a real mix of strength, flexibility and plyometrics. I'm going to talk to some of the people taking part, the organisers and even, a little bit frighteningly, going to take part myself. And what made you start up Street Workout London? You know what, um, we're both athletes and we wanted to actually start up a scene where you could actually get uh, lots of athletes in that actually do different things, not just one strict kind of form of movement, but we wanted to incorporate free running, parkour, gymnastics, and you know, just anybody that's got like that physical athletic background. What can people expect uh, if they're coming down to watch this? What kind of events are we going to be seeing? The community you see behind you, they're really pushing the body to its extreme, you know? So we're seeing human flags, we're seeing muscle ups, we're seeing planches. A lot of gymnastic elements incorporated into there, but street workout's taken on its own evolution and there's a lot of moves specifically just to street workout. Um, it, has a, it has a World Cup, um, which is placed in Russia. There's qualifiers in lots of different countries, so the movement is growing and evolving. What are you looking for in the judging? So specifically I'm looking for plyometrics and dynamics, okay. uh, sort of combos and transitions because that's okay. my speciality so that's sort of why I'm here. And then overall what does that kind of work into? I mean there are other areas right as well? Yes, yeah, so there is uh, strength and strict form, we had some gymnasts coming along and just to make sure that the gymnast couldn't come here and do a few planches and just win. You have to have some style, so... Okay, is that yeah. kind of creativity then is sort of a big part of it? Is that yeah, definitely. Say? I mean, you have to have some element of strength, you have to have some element of plyo, but you also have to be able to have the crowd as well. One of the competitions today is a dip competition. Can you just sort of talk us through then a perfect dip and what you guys are looking for competitively for, for, one, for a rep to count? We want controlled, strict form. Um, Ty's going to show you one and I'll walk you through all the aspects of okay. his body as he's doing it. So, he's mounting on the bar. You see he's got locked arms there, um, while he comes down he's going to bring his arms to a perpendicular angle with the bar, 90 degrees minimum, but lower is even more difficult. And then he's going to come straight back up with the locked arm. And that's one rep? Feet together, straight body, perfect form. That's one rep, yeah. Well that's a lot of reps. <laughs> what numbers are, is an impressive number? This year it's been outstanding with 72 in one minute. One minute, yeah. And they were locked out full form dip, so that's, that's a really good achievement. Nice. You know? but shall I see if I have a little go and uh, see if you can talk me through it, yeah? I want you to squeeze your core lower yep. and keep your body in that position and just move your arms. Just dip 90 degree angle and back up. There you go. With You have to maintain, keep your form and your feet together at all times. That's good. For your first time, that's very good. Thanks. That's very good. Can I get good. down now? Yeah, you can get down. <laughs> and do you think competitions like this, I mean, do you think they're a big part of what, what makes this community quite strong? Yeah, definitely. I mean, if you notice today, even though there are many, many massively muscly guys, uh, there is, uh, there's not as much um, of a macho thing as in the gym. There's not as much testosterone almost. Everybody is cheering each other on. Everybody is willing to help each other. Um, it's a really good, you have a good atmosphere here because you can see everybody's genuinely sure. happy to be here. I work with a lot of active gang members in right. Brixton. You know, we're surrounded by estates and blocks. Um, so everyone wants a sense of belonging. Yeah. Everyone wants to be a part of a family, a part of an organisation, a part of the, the cool guys. Yeah. And usually it's cool to be the gangster, it's cool to be the bad boy. When you've created something where people can become part of a gang, but it's positive, then it's cool to be able to do what others can't do. Right. You know, it's a family that you can tell your problems to. You know, we understand the same language, it's his fitness. We understand the same language as this sport. Sure. So that's why we're together. So um, this is something that everyone likes to look of uh, when they see it in the gym. Uh -huh. You taught me through a perfect muscle up and what you're looking to score on here. Okay, a perfect muscle up. I'm definitely looking for form. I'm looking for feet together, okay. toes pointed, knees together, and a full lockout at the top. Okay. And Rix is going to demonstrate that. What kind of numbers are you looking at? What, kind of, what can people pull out? Do you know what? Today we had 22 muscle ups we had today. Now you're seeing these guys that do calisthenics and you know it's like a lot of endurance work so numbers just go up up and up and the form stays well i've uh, i've never done a muscle up before so no, i'm feeling i've never even tried one before okay. so i'm gonna well if you could talk me through it i'll uh, i feel like i'm feeling optimistic i'm feeling like having a go let's go so, uh, let's have a go of one so shoulder width yeah like this there you go yeah feet together <laughs> yeah what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you yeah. the things that you have to do to okay. gain a muscle up because okay. you're not going to get a muscle up okay. first off. Show me what we need yeah? to do then, yeah. Okay. For example, you come to the bar, just about shoulder width, and you pull. But you pull to your chest. 
You see? And then you lock out. All the gyms in there. And I get higher and higher. Then I muscle up. It wasn't very clean, but... Well, two years ago, my dad passed away unexpectedly in, in a car accident. And it hit me, um, hit me really hard. And I was kind of just on a downward spiral. And I had to give up a couple of luxuries in order to move out of where I was living. And one of them was the gym. And I also did mixed martial arts at the time. And because of that, I had nowhere to train. So I was just sort of doing street workout. Um, it was literally pull-ups and street signs, um, using bike racks for dip bars, all that kind of stuff. Have you got a favourite move? Have you got something that when you, when you pull it off, it's like, that's the one? Yeah, I suppose uh, one of my favourite moves is uh, a Korean typewriter dip. You go upside down and put your legs over the bar and you spin round onto your back. And from there, um, you can either keep your legs straight or you can pedal. I like to pedal because it incorporates the lower core. As you pedal, you're sort of coming along from one side to the other like this okay. um, with the bar behind you. That's one of my favourite. How does someone get into it? How does someone get started? I think three most important things is your confidence. That always goes a long way. Yeah, so not being shy, always ready to perform in full effect. Yeah. Um, your core strength. So obviously that's digging deep and making sure you're blocking out anything else, no pain, no gain, etc. Yeah. And um, your team, your yeah. support, yeah. do you know what I mean? Support, yeah. It's all love. So it's team. getting those people around yeah. you to be doing Just it with you. Just to give you that extra. Yeah. We kind of all bounce off of one another anyway. 100%. Do you know what I mean? Freestyle though, that's kind of the main event. If you yeah, like. that's right. Um, so, I mean, what, what are you looking for there? What scores in a freestyle event? How does that, how's that broken down for somebody who's never seen it before? Okay, um, freestyle events, we're looking for innovation, strength and conditioning, okay. as well as explosiveness. Okay, and the thing I heard earlier, someone was saying that they saw somebody doing a, doing a bar up and then they took their phone out and took a selfie. Is that, kind of, <laughs> is that crowd's pleasing You know what it is? Right? Yeah, it's pleasing. So people see it and they're letting you know that they have strength. Hey, I'm holding myself up with one hand and I'm on the phone. You know, it's just a little character adding it to the okay. event. Is there okay. something on the freestyle side of things that, that you can show me now that I could, you know, potentially or anybody watching could, could have a go at straight away? Definitely. There's uh, many things that we do. Foundation, work, and Rix is going to show you a few things and what I'll talk you through okay. whatever he does. Cool, fantastic. Hey, here he's in the press-up position and it's a full extension, a full lock. Now he's gone back onto his forearms and then back up. That is a very good exercise for your triceps, as okay. well as your core. Okay, now we have the jump. And the crossing arms The as crossing well, right? arms. Yeah, this is when you're mixing it up now. <laughs> Plyos, strength, innovation, all in one. The one arm push up. If it's possible, I'm going to have a go at them. I'm not sure I if reckon, I'm going to be able to, yeah, you'll pull to off. deal with them. Right, shall I, uh, shall I hop down? Do you want to... Right, so the first one's press-ups. I think I'm fairly okay with. Now, all I want you to do when you get to the top, pause. Yep. Take one arm off the floor. Like and hold, yes. Arm behind your back and hold. This is how you create muscle memory. Rotate. And while you're doing it, make sure you breathe. And there you have it. That's how it starts. It's progression. It's all balance. It's just balance. Up you come. There you Strong. go. Strong. Lock it out. There Lock it out. Strong. <laughs> well, I feel like I've, I've kind of learned enough now. Probably next year I'll probably be competing top three, I reckon, something like that. Um, but thanks so much for going through all that You're with welcome, me. Bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate You're it as well. Thanks very much. Cheers. <laughs> I need a rest. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'm here with the winner, Seb yeah. from Bar Breakers. Um, yeah, Bar Breakers. You must be uh, must be feeling pretty good right now. Yeah, I feel quite good. You know, I've been practicing quite hard for this. Yeah. Um, got me by surprise, I didn't think I was going to win. <laughs> the fact you had to do the final um, extra round kind of thing, yeah. I mean, do you plan these things in advance? How does that work? Um, the extra round, I didn't actually have to plan it, I just had to do moves I knew I could do. Right. That's going to please the crowd at the time. And the move you, uh, when you flip round and sat on top of the bar at the end, you yeah. said you only got that down this week? Yeah, I got that about three weeks, three days ago actually. Um, and I just thought that this is, I needed a new move for the competition, and that was it, I guess. So are you going to be coming back next year then? Yeah, of course. We came here last year, that was our first time. We didn't win. We said one of our team has to win from the bar breakers this year. And we've done it now, so we've made our goal. Okay. So next year, I want someone else in the team to win. We've got to the end of the day, the competition's finished, and uh, I think one of the things that stands out is the, the community aspect of it. People are cheering people on from other teams, uh, potentially their rivals, and it's nice when someone does something new, everyone kind of goes crazy about it, and uh, everyone kind of had something that they achieved in the day, whether it was, uh, you know, performing some new 360 move or even me just attempting my first ever muscle up. If you want to get stuck into this, turn up to your local park and start having a go. There'll be other people there that want to get involved.